Hey there, everybody. This is a quick video I wanted to make for my friends on Discord. He was wanting to know if there's any way of uh, saving and or transferring all the uh, animated morphs from one character onto another one. And there absolutely is a way. So I'm gonna show you that now. Now he already knows how to load in morphs and things like that. So that's out of the scope of this video. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, for one I made on how to transfer um, a breathing animation from character creator into iClone. And you can follow along with that if you want to know how to create morphs, uh, animated morphs. Um, but anyway, the key is, you know, with a character created, you click on Morph Creator and it pops open this kind of standalone program called Morph Creator. And f with it, you can like load in morphs. So this character here has two morphs. I I brought in from Character Creator, um, just making arms and legs stronger. Okay, so nothing crazy. Now, the cool thing is these morphs will save with an eye avatar. They're kind of embedded into it. So in here, in uh, Morph Creator, I can go File and Save, and it's going to save out an eye avatar. And we can call this one something like all morphs and I'm just going to put in parentheses the actual character. Okay, so that saved out a version of this character with the morphs embedded in it. Very cool. So how would we transfer them to a different character? Let's pretend this is, let's just close this out and start fresh. So right now, neither one of these actually has a um, has any animated morphs. So we can go over to Morph Animator. Um, actually, I lie. This one has a bunch, but this is just for the hair. Um, so just so we're not distracted here. I'll delete the hair. So now when we go back into Morph Animator, okay, no morphs for this one, just to prove my point. Okay, and we are also will try it with this character. Click on it, Morph Animator. Again, these are all for the hair, so we'll delete the hair so we don't make myself a liar. And... Go to Morph Animator. Okay, nothing. So there's no morphs in either one of these currently. Now, we saved out this character, but let's pretend it doesn't exist right now. Let's pretend the only one in the scene is this character here, that we want to load in the morphs that we had saved with this character. So I'm going to go click on this character. I'm going to go over to the Animation tab and click on Morph Creator just to load that program up. And of course, it's going to load up with her in it. Okay, so this character is loaded in. Um, no morphs showing. Let's open up our previously saved avatar with the morphs in it, which we called All, All Morphs Sally. Okay, and just like before, we had the two sliders that makes the arms and the legs all ripped. Now, here's the cool thing. In iClone, with the this other character selected, we click on Update Morph to iClone. Not this one, because this will replace the whole character. We want Update Morph to iClone. And that's it. Zoom, zoom, zoom. It's sending over the morphs into this new character. And now, like magic, we click on the Morph Animator for this character and Lo and behold, the morphs are here. And if you have multiple characters, you want to uh, do that too. While this one is loaded up into um, Morph Creator, you can do that. So we can see this one, with the, you know, which was really the original character, doesn't have any morphs. And, but with it selected, we can go to Morph Creator and just say Update. And now it's sending the morphs into this character. And when we click on Morph Animator, there they are. 
So yes, that's how you would save out a bunch of morphs uh, in Morph Creator uh, in one character and then apply them to many. I hope this helped. Uh, not only my buddy, but anybody else who's watching. Talk to you guys later. Cheers.